corresponds to your side, Ilula, of uh, one of the greatest Rabbanim, out of uh, Yosef Chaim, I mean, Baghdad, no, also known as Harab Ben Ishaq. He lived around 150, 160 years ago. He was born around 100, uh, 190, years, uh, 190 years ago. He passed, he passed away about 111 years ago. Harab Ben Ishaq, Harab Shalom, is known after one of his sefarim, Ben Ishchai. Uh, however, he wrote many, many more sefarim. So, but that one sefer <coughs> is the sefer that is perhaps um, was uh, more favored by many Yehudim, just like the sefer of Chafez Chaim that was written by our Israel Meir, um, so that sefer made the nickname for Harab Yusuf Chaim of Baghdad uh, to, uh, to be known as ben Harab Ben Ishkai. And there is a lot to say about Harab Ben Ishkai, Harab Shalom. So we're going to speak about some of the details of uh, how, what a great Chacham he was. So it is brought by Harab Ben Ben Sion Musafi al Shalom that uh, one time one of the students of Harab Ben Ishkai al Shalom known as Rabenu Yehushua Sharbani one time he was in a discussion in Beit, Beit Midrash the discussion was did Harab Ben Ishkai merit to see Eliyahu Hanavi to learn with Eliyahu Hanavi or not. So there were those who were saying yes, of course. There were those who said no, he didn't. So Harab Sharbani, who was a student of Ben Ishkai, Allah Shalom, made announcement that, you know, I'm going to see it myself. I'm going to a uh, home of Harab Ben Ishkai and I'm going to ask a Sheila. I'm just going to surprise him. And if Eliyahu Hanavi is there, I let you know, guys. I will come and let you know that Eliyahu Hanavi was there or not. So he was going towards Arab Ben Shai's home, and Arab Ben Shai had this upper floor that he would uh, usually study uh, full of Sepharim. He would make his safarim there, he would write his safarim there, and he was studying there, there were, there were steps going up to the upper floor. As soon as Harab Yehushua uh, Sharbani Allah uh, Shalom was coming close to this uh, home, to this house, all of the sudden, Harab Ben Ishkai Allah Shalom came out and uh, called him Sadiq, Rabbi Yushua, uh, uh, Arab Sharbani, the, the, your question that you have in mind is this, and this is the answer. You don't need to come to me. Uh, don't uh, yourself. Don't bother to come upstairs. This is your answer. This is your question. And that was the end of that uh, um, meeting. So perhaps from here, Arab uh, Ben Sion Musafi Allah Shalom brings as a raya, as a proof that Arab Ben Ishchai did learn with Eliyahu and Arab Ben Ishchai had this the hood of uh, learning Torah with Eliyahu So he was very baki, he was very expert in all the levels of Yahdud, in Halakha, especially in Kabbalah, in uh, Mishnah, Gemara, Rishonim, Acharonim, everything everything that it, uh, there is. So, and he has written a lot of Sephardim, Rabbi Alim, Mikah Be'ezel, Ben Ishchai. So, um, about 151 years ago, on the year of uh, Tav Shin Chav Bet, he merited to go to Eretz Israel. And he went to see the cover of Sadiqim. Like the merit 
that everyone should take advantage of. So he went, he davened by different kevarim to Agarosh Baruch Hu using the merit of the Dekh Sadikim. One of the kevarim that he went was the kever of Benayahu Yehoyadah, who was the Shlomo Hamelech's general. He was one of the most beloved generals of Shlomo Hamelech, and he was a very big Sadiq. So he went there, he prayed there, he used a special prayer of Mekubalim that they can somehow get influence of the Sadiq and use that influence in their lives. And Agorosh Baruch Hu accepted his tefillah and the Shoresh, the Nefesh of uh, the, the Ruach Nefesh, whatever there is in the spiritual world of, uh, uh, of Ben Ayahu Yehuda got attached to Arab Ben Ishqayal And it was as if a whole uh, uh, opportunity opened up to me, like a ma'ayan, like a whole well of Chokhman, wisdom, just opened up for uh, Arab Ben Ishqayal. And that's, that's one of the reasons why he, he, he is also called Ben Ishqayal. Ben Ishqayal was one of the Nicknames of Ben Ben Ayahu Yehuda. So Arab Ben Ishqal, as we mentioned, he has uh, he has many sefarim. One of the very important uh, sefarim that he wrote, uh, it's a sefer called the Shon Chachamim. In this sefer, there is a lot of uh, tefilot that uh, come to help a person to seek forgiveness from Agodesh Baruch Hu, tikkunim, to uh, fix the different sins of a person, and uh, it is known that whoever learns this sefer on different occasions, different tefillot, different segulot, it, it, it is very helpful in all the areas. Now it is brought down that uh, this sefer also would help with many difficulties to him of a person would, uh, would be a tikkun for his for, for avonot sins of a person it is known that in the time of Arab Ben Ishkai, there was nobody as great as he was uh, in the area of Kabbalah and uh, it, it is uh, a big he was a very big sadiq in the knowledge of Kabbalah now about 60 years ago, something very strange happened. There was a child born, and he was 6-7 years old, and as soon as he would hear a pasuk, pasuk in Torah, in Nebiim, Kitubim, he would say the rest. As soon as uh, he would hear a, a Mishnah, a Gemara, Mishnah Torah, Rambam, he would just continue saying the rest and the Chachamim came to see what's going on and they, they even noticed that he would say uh, the, the Sefer of Arab Ben Ishqai, the Lashon Chachamim he would even knew that Sefer and he would just go ahead and go on and go on and say the the, 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 uh, the, the, the pages after pages by heart so one of the great Rabbanim of that time, the Rosh Hashiva of uh, Yeshivat Porat Yosef, Arab Rabbi Yehuda Sadra Alav Shalom, he came and he said, from here there is a raya, there is a proof that Harab Ben Ishchai Alav Shalom Sefarim are very beloved and are known, are, are known in the Olamot Shel Mala. In, by, by, by the Malachim, by the angels, by the heavenly world, his Sepharim are accepted and, and, and are learned. What is the proof? The proof is that whenever a child uh, is in the stomach of, of his or her mother, uh, would learn Kol Torah Kula, all Torah. That is what Gemara tells us that a child learns during the nine months or so 
and the and the pattern of a uh, of, uh, of the mother and when the child is about to be born then the malach comes and makes the child forget the Torah that he learned so what is the whole reason of learning this Torah that this child when he come to this world would not be the first time learning that Torah that would be easier for him to grasp and to learn and go on and in that learning but for whatever reason this child uh, uh, did not uh, the, uh, maybe the malach forgot to make it uh, make uh, make him forget the Torah that he, uh, he learned. So he knew all these pesukim, Mishnayot, Gemara, Halachot, and even the Sefer of Harav Ben Ishchai Alav Shalom Lashon Chachamim. So this is uh, another proof that uh, Sefarim of Harav Ben Ishchai was written with Kitusha and Tara. So the end of that story was that Chachamim made him forget the Torah that he knew. They prayed to Hashem, they daven to Hashem, Hashem, please take away the knowledge of the Torah that this child has. Why? Because the person should toil, should work hard with Amelut the Torah to gain the Torah that he needs. But this way there would be sechah, there would be reward in the world to come. May HaKadosh Baruch help us that we Learn the Chochma, the Torah, of Harav Ben Ishchai, Rav Shonam, Rabbeinu, Yosef Chaim, and we apply it in our lives, and Amen. Amen. Amen.